and welcome to the carriage house a little place to find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home Christmas is finally upon us it's that time of year to be thankful for everything that we have and to celebrate the birth of Jesus it's a time to slow down reflect and to take time to turn inward for healing contemplation and prayer so on this wintry afternoon, I'm wanting to take the time and delight our home with those classic Christmas scents. The warm and spicy smell of cinnamon and clove, the earthy scent of rosemary, and the fresh notes of orange. All of these warmed and combined together on the stove can create a comforting atmosphere in our home. I'll also be making homemade gingerbread cakes to delight those little bellies of our little ones running around. And after everyone's asleep, I may put something warm and cozy on and do a little last minute gift wrapping. So I'm really glad you're here with me and looking forward to preparing our home for Christmas on this cold winter's night. So while the molasses and cream are warming on the stove, I'm grating my butter and going to knead it in with my dry ingredients. I cherish the olden days where life seemed more simple. I know it wasn't free of hardship, of course, but just the way of unhurried life. I've always loved the feeling of creating bread or cakes or whatever it may be with my own bare hands. Feeling the textures and transformation from beginning to end can always help ease a worried mind. In medieval England, the term gingerbread simply meant preserved ginger and wasn't applied to the desserts we are familiar with until the 15th century or so. Then as the English colonists began to arrive in the New World, gingerbread began to take on a new form with adding of the sugar and molasses. But I simply love the old tradition of Christmas time, all the traditions, and try to incorporate them along with the new ones in our little home. Thank you. 
So after the little ones had fallen to sleep, I put something comfortable and cozy on, climbed into our guest bedroom with a warm blanket, and began wrapping gifts for my family. Oftentimes, as far as who the gifts are from, I'll end up putting our cat's names or our chicken's names. So a lot of these puzzles and games that are for our two youngest boys will end up being from Cratchit or Clara or Xavier or Merlin. It's fun to do this and it creates a happy environment, especially for the kids. Once we had a rooster, we named the Colonel that had gone missing, sadly, in the cornfields. And although I know what really happened for most part, until this day, I tell my kids that, oh, he went to Hollywood to be a movie actor. And we actually got a package in the mail recently. It was for my husband, actually, but the return address was from Hollywood. And it ended up being some type of tool that he wanted. But I'll make sure to let everyone know that the gift was from the Colonel. So now that everyone's asleep, I wanted to reach out to those who may be hurting or missing a loved one during this Christmas season. So I wanted to share a poem with you that has helped me and that I hope will help you. Time for me to go now. I won't say goodbye. Look for me in rainbows way up in the sky. In the morning sunrise when all the world is new. Just look for me and love me as you know I loved you. Time for me to go now. I won't say goodbye. Look for me in rainbows high up in the sky. In the evening sunset, when all the world is through, just look for me and love me, and I'll be close to you. It won't be forever. The day will come and then. My loving arms will hold you when we meet again. Time for us to part now. We won't say goodbye. Look for me in rainbows shining in the sky. Every waking moment and all your whole life through, just look for me and love me as you know I loved you. Just wish me near to you and I'll be there with you.